I grew up in a lovely town or borough in London called Tower Hamlets, which was quite disadvantaged. Um, aspirations weren't really the currency of the day. Um, and higher education was always seen as something which you should aim for, aspire to, uh, to try and lead a better life. Um, and my father was very insistent that the, all of his children do really well. And he really drilled into us the notion of being educated, going into higher education, doing well. Um, so it really was a part of the, the lexicon of life growing up. So SOAS was something which I hadn't heard of um, when I was in college. And then I came to a open day here. And coming into the JCR, I had in the summer previously gone and had two weeks at Cambridge um, and, and seen what it was like. And SOAS coming to SOAS was like home. Um, and it was clearly a place where people felt comfortable. Uh, the diversity of people in the students' union just walking around the place was incredible and it felt good. Um, and obviously on top of that, it had a fantastic rating in the league tables. Uh, it was really well placed in terms of its academic research. And for my subject of economics and politics, it was studying topics and subjects which are now the zeitgeist, you know, talking about Iran and the Middle East, Africa. When I was applying, those things quite hadn't, they hadn't quite become the topical countries that they are now. Um, so knowing that that was going to be the case, that's why I chose to study at SOAS. The first word that comes to mind, having worked in higher education for quite a while, is it's a unique experience. I don't think there's any other, any other university, pretty much in the UK, um, that could have given me the experience I had at SOAS. Um, I, um, I've just come back from holiday um, and it was through my SOAS contacts that I made uh, that I was able to enjoy the, the fruits of Senegal. Um, and that would not have been possible without making the friends at SOAS. And actually I've been blessed to have travelled to lots of places around the world. And most of the places I go to I have friends and those friends are all from the melting pot that is SOAS. Because it's an area studies university, it's focusing on parts of the world that others perhaps don't. It means people who come are eclectic, they're diverse, they're beautiful, they speak five different languages. It puts you to shame, you know. Um, being a, a child of immigrants to the UK, I thought I was a little bit special. And then you meet somebody who's got, you know, two thirds this, one third that. Um, and, and, and that is what was really unique about coming to an institution like SOAS. It just felt like there was no homogenous group that was the majority, it was very much a melting pot of minorities and that was the majority and that's what makes it so unique um, and I hope it long continues. So at the moment I work for a Prince of Wales charity, um, I work in corporate social responsibility which is a very sassy job um, because it enables me to save the world uh, but also at the same time work in a, in a corporate environment. Um, the way SOAS has helped me is it's shaped the way I see the world. Um, it's allowed me to have lots of friends and lots of good contact. And actually coming to a place like SOAS where you are able to experience diversity, it enables you to, I suppose, be prepared for a world that is globalized. It prepares you for a world that is interconnected. So, you know, when you meet somebody, you always have something to say to them. It could be from an environment. And when you work in commerce or in any field that is corporate related, people from all parts of the world are usually involved um, and having something to say to them from that one weird experience you had in SOAS bar comes in very useful actually, it's, it's what, I, what, what I found. So SOAS has helped me in lots of ways that I know and I can already tell you that it's going to help me in lots of ways that I don't know even now and if you were to ask me in five years time how has SOAS helped you, I'm sure I'll have more to say. So the easiest thing to say would be come to SOAS but actually in a very competitive higher education environment, I would tell anybody first to take a step back and really question what it is that they're looking for from a degree because so many people have a degree um, and it's become quite easy to attain a degree. Um, what makes SOAS unique is that it's not just the degree. It's a all-round experience. You come to a place where you meet people from all over the world. You learn about things which are very unique in the UK because SOAS is an area studies university and it really enables you to see things in a different way and and i think it's if you're invested in yourself and you're invested in becoming a, a an employee a person a, hum, a humanitarian a person in development that is 
going to be operating in an interconnected world, SOAS is perhaps the place for you because it really is a place where you can come and get all of those experiences in, in Russell Square, which is very unique.